Great to be here. Thank you so much for being here with us today. So I was told you're going to be speaking at VMworld this year. Yeah, I have a few different sessions that I'll be covering and uh, meeting with lots of customers and partners and just soaking it all in. Can you tell me a little more about your sessions? Yeah, I, I have three great sessions. One is on multi-cloud. It's called Multi-Cloud Mania. And we'll be talking about the future of multi-cloud operations, where you should be opinionated about what you should manage versus what you shouldn't manage, how you can centralize operations, how to look at cloud from an architectural perspective in terms of what's cloud native versus what is PaaS versus what should be on a more generic IaaS. Uh, and uh, beyond that, we'll show you know uh, how you can look practically at cloud today and what you can do today versus what's in the future just to balance it out. There's a panel, I'll be doing a CTO panel that's really covering our thought leadership across VMware. And uh, finally, uh, I'll be doing a super session with Raj Javadkar where we're talking about our hyper-converged story and how far that's come not just what you can do in your own data center, but what you can do across clouds and how that relates to open source API management of hyper uh, converged solutions and, and how you can even plumb into developer tools. So we'll have a lot of very specific examples in that that I'm really excited to show. That's, that's a lot of information, so clearly this isn't your first time at VMworld, right? No, I, I've been to VMware, VMworld more times than I have fingers, I think, at this point. So I've been around a long time doing this. So I've never been to VMworld. If you were going to give me your first time attendees, maybe even returning attendees, some tips, what would you say is the most important thing to keep in mind? Don't get overwhelmed. There's so much content. There's so many sessions. Sometimes it's really hard to pick where you're going to go, and people might get a little stressed out over not being able to get into a certain session. But you don't have to worry about that because every session is recorded, all the material is online, there's PDFs of all the presentation content that's available online on VMworld.com as soon as you finish. And a lot of people will wrap up the conference, they'll download the PDFs, they'll go through the information, it might take you another week just to soak all of those things in. So if you miss a session or you can't get somewhere, it's not a big deal. You know, worry about uh, getting some, some stick time in the hands-on labs and soak that in. And the session content, that's always going to be there for you for the next year, so don't, don't worry about missing any of those sessions, that's going to be okay. Thank you, that's great advice. I have a question from a live viewer right now, but what would you say is the funniest thing that has happened to you at VMworld? This hasn't happened to me, but a, a friend of mine, Matt Leibowitz, happens to look exactly like Paul Moritz. And when Paul Moritz was CEO, oftentimes Matt would get confused where people would say, hey, Paul, come up here. At the points, he just started playing along and would just pose for attendees for pictures, you know, when he wasn't even really our CEO at the time. He was just another VMware community member. That's funny. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that, yeah. and thank you so much for being here today. Um, to check out Chris's sessions, definitely check out the Cotton Catalog and search for Chris Wolf. And come, we're so excited to see you at VMworld. Thank you so much for being Can't here. Can't wait today. to see you there and uh, spend more time with you. Really looking forward to it. The community at VMworld is what it's all about to me. So find me, track me down, let's grab a beer, let's talk. I just want to hear from you.